Hi there. Today, more about how to find inner peace that comes with fading away of individuality. It's fixation on this individuality that brings about the whole bundle of the burden of living. All the anxieties, fears, insecurities, emotional turmoils and roller coasters from joy, happiness, elation to sadness, depression, rage, jealousy, regrets. Always pushing this experience of a physical individual to the brink of what's humanly possible. Be better, do more, achieve more, look better. Do all the right things, do not fail, do not disappoint. And so on and so on and so on, it never stops. And after all this, it perishes anyway, it dies. This physical body or human form disintegrates in the end anyway after all these efforts. This individuality is under constant pressure, immense, constant stress. And the inner peace is not possible for as long as we fix it and identify with this individuality. The less we identify with it, the more it fights away until it slips away completely into nothingness, the more the inner peace strengthens the inner balance, the equilibrium, the ease of living. It happens simultaneously, fading away of individuality gives rise to inner peace and balance. Beyond time and space, eternal peace, blissful. It is just so really simple. Because what is it that creates this experience of a physical identity and everything that comes with it? It's engagement and fixation and identification with the surface thoughts. It's the surface thoughts that feed, feed us the details about this individuality all the time. What it's doing, what it's been doing yesterday, what it might be doing tomorrow, what it looks like, what it wants, and so on and so on and so on. It's, it's the surface thoughts, the surface fluctuations. And as long as we fixate on them, engage with them, identify with them, we keep going. This experience of a physical identity that is just an experience. And for that long, for as long as we are doing that, there is no inner peace. We cannot find inner peace. There is no possibility of going beyond all that. But it is so simple to do. It happens as a result of getting away from surface thoughts, of stopping to engage with them, identify with them, fixate on them. That's how the inner peace grows. That's how you find inner peace. And that's how the identity fades away slowly, gradually, till it slips away completely. And that is the real liberation. That is the real ease of living. Everything is exactly as it is supposed to be. At ease, no worries. No constraints. No restraints. No regrets. Ease of living. Unburden yourself completely. It all, ha all happens through the practice. You see, I've started this video this video, not the video itself, but this channel, YouTube channel, a bit more than three years ago. And when I started it, I was completely engulfed in the surface fluctuations, completely identifying with the so-called physical identity. And it wasn't until 
probably a bit less than two years ago that I started some regular spiritual practice. And even after that, I haven't practiced for, for several months. But this place I'm at now is the result of spiritual practice. It's a, a place of faded identity. Identity is almost slipped away completely. There is an ease of living. All the fears and anxieties dropped away. There is still, of course, a connection with this physical body. The, the aches and the pains are still felt, but to the much lesser extent. And the mind is not this individual mind anymore that is centered inside some sort of individuality. But it surpasses that. It's beyond that. It's sort of a universal mind, part of the stream, part of the natural mind or the God or the spirit or whatever you want to call it. Completely natural, completely in sync with what is, completely beyond time and space. And I still notice all the fluctuations of the surface thoughts in the background and I can observe them and, and be amused by them but I do not engage with them I do not identify with them I do not feed this experience of physical identity that's why the inner peace is is prevailing the inner peace and balance and ease of living I hope that my example, which is, of course, not your example, every, every case is different, but I hope that it can entice you to start and persevere with your own spiritual practice. It's important that you persevere. It might, it might seem that nothing is happening in the, in the beginning, at the beginning stages of the practice, but you persevere and one day, all these effects of a spiritual practice will accumulate and the changes that will start occurring will occur by themselves and there will be more and more of them. I'm still amazed and what a transformation can happen in such a relatively short span of time. It's, it's unbelievable and it's so liberating. It's the most liberating thing of all. And the hardest thing is to actually put all these changes and all this transformation to translate it into words and convey it to other people with words because it's, it's just the experience that we are not accustomed to, that we are not used to, that it's very hard to find some mental concepts to squeeze it into those mental concepts because it's way beyond that. But I hope my example gives you heart to persevere with your spiritual practice and enjoy the inner peace and balance away from individuality. Take care. Bye-bye.